Hello everyone, welcome back to the dig site that is Fossils and Things, and I'd like to showcase a new series to you guys called the Mini Indie Series. Now basically what that's going to cover is single multiplayer indie games that might be new, they might be old, it doesn't matter, and we're going to be covering them in small bite-sized series. This is going to be easy to digest, you're going to be able to snack on this series. Now obviously multiplayer games, normally they won't have an ending. So you got a comment section below, so make sure you comment when you want a fresh new indie game. And I'll deliver, I'll make sure it comes right to your door. But today, we're going to be playing Shelter 2. Now obviously there was a Shelter 1, and that game was basically a survival adventure game. Um, obviously showing the life uh, of a mother badger, um, who gave birth to her obviously little baby badgers. Uh, and it was obviously finding them a shelter, making sure they survive, and they could make it in the wild. And in Shelter 2, it's actually a lynx. Um, so we're going to be part of the cat family, we're going to be in a very snowy environment. So let's start off the game, let's boot up a new game here. Uh, I have actually booted up already, uh, and the visuals are very crisp, they're, they're fantastic. They're kind of um, card, um, colored card, um, detailed. Which is very impressive. So, you've got the mother lynx is pregnant and searching for a den. But the night is cold and fearsome predators have caught her scent. So, obviously, we're going to be running away from predators wanting to eat us. Um, which is obviously going to be very hard for a pregnant lynx. Uh, and the game developers, well, there we are. The game developers behind this game um, are called Might and Delight. Uh, and you should definitely check out um, their other games. Uh, I'll leave... A little link to their website down in the description below as well. So here we are. In game, we're the mother's links, and you can see here the um, it has a very it's kind of shell sa shell sa shaded um, design here, kind of like card if you can see, like kind of like Paper Mario if you think about it. So we've got shift and space is going to be to to run and to jump as well. And you can see there, there's a, a wolf on the ridge calling his friends, and obviously they're going to try and eat us. And we're going to try and avoid that. Maybe we're going to eat this hare on the way. Oh, there's another wolf. Wanted to eat us. We can definitely get away. But I'm actually very impressed by this lynx here. Able to run away even though she's pregnant and outpace some wolves. Now, if it was a husky, I think she, uh, she'd she be caught by now. Or maybe wolves are faster. I think wolves are faster. They're bigger built as well. And how you can tell... You may be, be able to tell from the sound, but they're right behind us. So you can see here, give you a little demonstration, we can we can press space and we can jump up ledges here. It's actually quite a, a quite a jump. And I'm not too sure why the wolves weren't actually able to jump up um, that ledge. But I'm gonna say it again, you can see here they're, they're obviously the obviously the detail of obviously the rocks, um, the grass, the snow, it's all fine. It's its like it's been colored onto card and it's been laid out into the environment here. I like the kind of um, prehistory um, kind of like detailed um, little loading screens as well. So that night the stars whispered to Mother Lynx. Oh, so we're getting all spiritual here already as well. Is this the lights? Is this the lights we're seeing here? Let's have a little sprint. I think we have to just walk. Yeah, we just have to follow these lights. Just gonna make her way through the forest. Hopefully there's a den. Might be able to see here, obviously, when we're spreading as well, on the sides of the lynx as well, the mother lynx, you can see obviously where we're hitting the air, and you can tell we're going very, very fast. And through the landscape, and there we are. Look at that night, look at that landscape. You can see obviously the um uh, the signs obviously in the sky. Very beautiful, very beautiful landscape. I'm wondering what they obviously the stars are going to be telling us. They're obviously guiding us towards a den, and it must be a sign from nature. So obviously f to find a den and nurse these cubs into the world. It's the very, very, I wouldn't say Aztec, obviously very prehistory, even maybe even Egyptian. Roman star signs. See there, on the right hand side, you can see a little guy. And obviously, the light beams up to our shelter on top. Big massive tree and shelter too. Obviously, that's going to be the title screen onto this series. And I'm really looking forward to playing this game. Um, I haven't actually played the first shelter game, even though I have a little bit of knowledge 
on how that game works. Um, and this is actually my first endeavor into the Shelter series. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. So I'm going to be completely blind. So if you guys haven't actually played the games, I'm just like you. I have no idea what's going to happen. I just know we have to survive our best. So we're going to be catching food and escaping from predators as well. What's that? You can obviously see some glowing eyes in the dark. Is that us? I think that might be us. Yeah, that's us. We've given birth. Little Lynx cubs, obviously, they've, they've been brought into the world. And we have to make sure they survive. And you can tell the uh, really emotional gamers are going to be very careful in this playthrough. Well, whenever they play this game. Um, I'm quite a big nature lover. I would say I, I do love obviously nature and um, different animals' habitats and I'll see the world that we'll see we live in. So, uh, so we obviously we got some names. So this is going to be a very emotional um, playthrough. If one of them dies, it might just tear us apart or tear me apart. Or maybe you guys will laugh. I don't know. But that's hmm, I'm tempted to change their names. But I don't want to change their names. Inna. Inna is obviously us. We're going to be the main protagonist in this game. But we've got Bova, Soledad, Kira, Kir, yeah, Kir, and Vavi. So let's just go with the default names. Maybe I think they're randomized as well. So there'll be different names each playthrough um, you go through. But obviously it's good that you have the, the small little customization. It kind of adds that personal touch to this game. Makes you feel, obviously, you're more connected to them. So there we are. Little loading screen. Four cubs and Inna. She ventures into the vast open world. A land full of prey to feed her starving family. Who are not yet strong enough to leave the shelter. So they're going to stay in their home. They're going to stay nice and warm. And we're going to be catching f some food for them. Making sure they have lovely filled bellies. So they can grow and survive by themselves. This has been a very snowy atmosphere here. Look at the moon. No, that, well, obviously that'll be the sun. We're out in the dark. Oh, well, we're out in the in the sunlight here, and you can see them. Oh, little guys, look at you. Look at you guys. I'm gonna go get you some food. Let's go get you guys some food. Now, there's not too much instruction, which is actually um very nice. It's very different in these games. You don't often get the uh, the luxury. Hmm. Ah, so you right click to um, actually catch the food. So obviously you can make sure you got it in your mouth. And we're going to circle back to our den. And we're going to give them the food. Lovely little rabbit we caught for you guys. So some meat. And there we are. Pop on the floor. Those guys get to devour the rabbit. Do they want more? You hungry little buggers, you. Hungry little devils. Let's go find another uh, another rabbit. I've seen another one here. Is this one dead? Or is that a rock? Yeah, that's a rock. It's not good when the rocks look a lot like rabbits. Oh, there we are. That rabbit's just the same as us. Same color. Sorry, buddy. You know the food chain and all. I have to unfortunately snap your neck and feed you to my family. They're very hungry. I hope you understand. Why am I walking? Oh, there we are. I think it's because it was just a steep hill there. There we are. Let's drop it for our cubs and they get to devour some more food. I'm guessing that noise is a good indication that I did, I did some things right. I made sure they were fed. You can see here the snow is clearing as well. This must be obviously the change in the weather. Are they screaming? Do they want to come out? Okay, so maybe they want some more food. Let's go catch another rabbit. And just these visuals, the landscape. Uh, it's a very, very simple, um, w you know, obviously way to play the game. There isn't anything complex or expansive. You need to do this and this quest and this quest. You're just doing what a mother lynx would do. 
protecting her family and making sure they got some food. And here we are. We got our little lynxes, little lynx cubs with us. Now, can they sprint with us, or do I have to? S yeah, they can sprint. Very handy. Oh, and you can see there in the bottom left, you've got the sprint gauge, I believe, as well. There we are. Caught another one. Here we are, guys. Here's what to eat. A few of them want to eat. Fill up your bellies so you can get nice and big. Um, see, the bad thing in this game, obviously, not being told necessarily what to do, I have no idea what I need to do. Do I need to find another shelter? Do I need to just keep making sure they get fed throughout the different seasons? I'm gonna think so. I'm gonna think so. Let's look for another another rabbit here. I'm sure at some point we're gonna encounter another predator and I can see another rabbit behind this rock. You're not getting away from me, buddy. Oh, well maybe he is. Got my little club, cubs. So cute how they are. But obviously they've got blood around their mouths, which is actually uh, pretty horrific. And obviously we need to uh, stop running as much. Mother Lynx is getting uh, very tired. And uh, you're a good mother. You can see in the bottom right there, it's been saving. Whoa, this is glowing. What is this? So a branch. So if I press C, which is telling me to do, Collectibles, I believe. So there's going to be collectibles in this game that we can collect throughout our landscape through whenever we're exploring. Now we'll try and conserve as much energy. And it looks like the day and night cycle is very fast. So you can see it takes about less than a minute, maybe a minute or two, actually, um, to pass from obviously night to day to well, from morning to afternoon. I'm pretty sure very soon it's going to be evening, so I've got another little, uh... Ooh. Another little rabbit here for the little ones. Ah, you can actually pick them up. Here we are. Hey, little guys. I'ma pick you up by your neck, but that's okay because it's normal. Okay. So if I press the right mouse button, you can see where obviously there's going to be different animals. I believe different, obviously, environments. So that's obviously some trees over there. You've obviously got snowflakes, so that's where it's colder. Maybe we want, we want to go to a warmer environment. Or maybe we're just going to want to eat still. Plenty of rabbits around here. Got another. Hey, guys. More rabbits for you. Devour. Get bigger. I need you guys to get bigger. So you guys can survive by yourselves, you know? So you guys can chill with Mama Bear. I mean, Mama Lakes. I'm not a bear. Promise. So, when you can see, these guys are getting bigger. Definitely. Oh, there's another one. Hmm. It's a little rodent here. Maybe it's a... It's a little mole or squirrel, maybe. But we don't want anyone getting too small. That would be a bad idea. Maybe we get to choose where our landscape is. So it looks like obviously the big tree is going to be our hub. So it's where our home is. So let's 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 have a little bit of, a, of an explore. Let's go towards this way where the broken trees are. I can't actually hear the little ones. Hmm. And there we are. I think we had a little sound glitch there as well. Um, at least for me, the sound just instantly just cut out. I could just hear the babies crying. That was it. Very annoying, but... We're going to be going towards these broken trees here that we can see. And are kind of like our eagle eye, I'd call it. But before we get there, we're going to grab one last rabbit for our travels. Obviously, traveling is going to be very hard for the little ones. Little cubs. You are. Let's get some blood around your faces. Oh, I killed that one as well. Make sure they get fed. So, guys, this has been Shelter 2. Do catch me in the next part of the dig. My name has been Fossils and Things. See you later.